where you suck a guy's dick and he comes in your mouth and then you spit the cum into his mouth and that's called a snowball. So whenever I think about a blue snowball, I think it's like a more fucked up version of that because I think it's like a blue waffle combined with that. So yeah, that's how that's how I know about the, the blue snowball, Mike. <laughs> I thought, Sponsor I thought you were going us. into, like, she spits it out into, like, the freezer, and then it freezes no. or something like no. that. No. Hello, everyone, and no. welcome to the sixth episode of the Technical Miracle Podcast. My name is Jake. Joining me, finally, as always, maybe, I don't know, is Noah, Joseph, and Dean. We got a full house today, boys. Uh, yeah. you know, why don't you all talk at once, and then just, uh, yeah, fight over it. Fight for our attention. Nothing, all right. Really? Okay. Fuck all right. You. Fuck all your other shit. There's only one fucking thing that matters. Dean, did you roll your venti? I did roll my venti. It took fucking uh 40 45 tries. accounts. Yeah! 45 accounts. It took 45 Not tries. Accounts, Explain what this each. is. What okay. what Chinese so this bullshit is, coin this is slot hot game? New game. Like, this is hot new game out right now called Genshin Impact. Yeah. And it uses All the, the gamers love it. For its for its like party recruitment system. At least the marketing would have you believe that. Yes. It you so it uses the gotcha system, which be, basically means that uh you get your party members via loot box. Uh and people yes. drop like thousands of dollars onto this trying to get their characters and stuff. But yes. there is a way that you can cheese it called re-rolling where you just make a bunch Waste of your new time. accounts. And then you roll them over and over again. I actually had Joseph try it, and then <laughs> as soon as he didn't get a five star on his first on his first roll, he goes, "Well, this is stupid. I'm not doing this anymore." Well, because I wanted to get a five star to troll you. <laughs> yeah, and, and then, 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 then I my... Hold on, hold on. And uh, this is the best part. And then I laughed at him and told him to do it again. Okay, and then he, and then he watched me roll literally the next time. And I fucking roll a five star on that <laughs> on that roll, and he was so ready. He was so ready to shit on me. No, no, no. it was on the last roll exactly, and I was trolling yeah. you the entire time. Yeah, yeah, it was on the very last one. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna get it. He's gonna fucking, he's gonna snicker at me. No, he got, I got the fucking five star. But it's even more hilarious. That classic what, it's, Joseph for each snicker. account, you have to do like twenty to thirty minutes worth of work. Before you can do yeah. the rolls. And, and how many counts so, have you made, Dean? 45. So <laughs> over 20 hours. What? what do you, uh, to 30 get minutes character. for a count, right? Okay. Yeah, so 20 As hours. many accounts as there are presidents of the United States. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Um, Which what, president I, I like what kind of anime woman? I'm thinking Wait, Abe what? Lincoln was an ass guy. Washington was a tits guy. He's all about freedom of the globes. You know, let them all just dangle out. Let's not talk about Thomas Jefferson. Why not? Why not? <laughs> anyway, get an impact. I'm about to skip over him. <laughs> My favorite president was Thomas Edison. My favorite president was Andrew Garfield, because he had a really big beard, and he died in, like, two weeks. My favorite was Taft. Some weirdo shot him. <laughs> Taft! He's very relatable. <laughs> Taft is such a fat bastard, I love him. I, I like JFK more, you know. If you, if you read about him, it'll blow your mind. <laughs> oh my god Taft is such Fucking... a relatable man <laughs> Literally got stuck in his tub yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tubby Taft, Taft. <laughs> You think all the other presidents Are like all the cabinet members Be like Tubby Taft Tubby Taft And a way to get up the weight loss <laughs> Tubby Taft, <laughs> Tubby Stop Taft. It. I don't like it when you make fun of my weight is Homer Simpson? <laughs> He's a president? <laughs> I'm kind of thinking of that fucking uh, cartoon dog, Droopy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, Genshin Impact. It's yeah. sort of like Breath of the Wild in terms of the gameplay and stuff like that, but nobody really fucking just cares. Style in general. It's really like, just there for the fucking femboys. So. And it's there the fucking waifus. That, I and, mean, that's and, true, because I, I literally haven't been able to play the game yet. And I've played yeah, 25 no, no, no. hours of it. So. Ain't, like, it literally doesn't matter. Alright, the fucking... There's an android bitch. 
who has like 90% of her animations just straight up lifted from near Automata. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Are you shitting me? We're really? Here. No, that's, oh, yeah, no, that's 100%. Real. That's actually yeah, oh it's, my it's God. super real. <laughs> Do you know how many games you can beat in 20 hours? China. There's like at least you could you could have beaten Deus Ex in that time and you would have had way better uh, I don't know fuck, experience. I have my fucking femboy now. He has his femboy now. You could have JC Denton. You could walk around and tell people to get a job when they ask you for food. Isn't that the greatest? Yeah, but thing I can ever? do that anytime. I can only get my femboy within the designated time frame that his banner is up. I see. You could have exactly. been in a year six in Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> I can get to year six in a day. What, how but many does years Dwarf in when, Fortress I, when I messed up have your femboys? Save? Uh, I was fortress probably, FM boys. I was probably close to like ten years in. I think. I was really fucking pissed. That was the that was the most I ever wanted to like beat your ass ever. <laughs> when Is Joseph when you destroyed your dwarf, uh, dwarf fortress. Uh, yeah. yeah, world. And uh, there's there's auto save in that, and so he did it when I wasn't like at my computer, and he left it unpaused. So it just fucking. No, so no, the no, no. Now you're leaving out stuff of the story. You're leaving out stuff. You're leaving out stuff. No, you're leaving out stuff that people need to hear. I told <laughs> you because I come over and every time I came over, you were just basically sleeping. You're like on your 18th about this. hour of sleep. Yeah, but I'm not the one who invites you over. Jake is. Okay, we already talked about this before. So it's not my fault. <laughs> You guys are getting mad over we this. Will never we be literally, forgiven. we literally talked about this on the podcast. Like, right. last I told week, you, if you didn't get up, I was going to fucking do it. Did you play? Did you get to play as your femboy? <laughs> I did. How, how, how was how was that? Uh, actually, pretty good. Fuck, like Venti is going to be great for like exploration because his E ability, like his regular elemental ability, e. basically like <laughs> launches. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, in the air, Jake? At much. that, I want at that exact moment, I want you to get like one of those like really fucking toasted like JPEGs like that are really <laughs> fucked up looking with like the big letter capital E on it of Venti's like, face and just mm, get that like, right there. Anyway, like deep fried. Proceed, Dean. <laughs> like, yeah, deep fried. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, sweetie. <laughs> go on. But yeah, so the, uh, Venti has this cool ability where. He, like, launches up in the air, and you can get to, like, high places really easily without needing to climb. And, uh, because it's a male, they also dash faster. Uh, their, Wait, their what? alt ability, or, like, their ultimate, is, uh, OP as shit. Because basically what it does is it sucks up all the enemies into one spot, so that you can just, like, DPS them down like they're nothing. So... Did you um did you get to the part where the the one the one meme character says the meme? <laughs> that one. Yeah, that one. I have not because I haven't played the game yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've I don't just I don't played... understand why that's a meme. Is it literally just because she's cute? Like I why so. that particular scene? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because that shit just exploded. I guess so. Tiny, tiny, cute thing. Angry. It's like a meme. It's like a pug that like is like picking fights with the like the big dogs at the park. I don't yeah. Know. But that <laughs> you you missed it, Dean. Like as we were waiting for you, as we were hashtag waiting for Dean. Um, <laughs> fucking. Um, Jake was explaining the channel layouts to me, and he was saying, oh yeah, Mild Edgelords, you know, that's just for, like, you know, not totally sa not safe for work shit, just, like, some, like, you know, <laughs> oh, just some mild yeah. shit. And I'm looking some at like the images, and I'm like, like uh-huh, okay. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's some anime titties. And then I was like, wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. What is, what, what, what is, what is underneath her? What is that, what is like, that? extra <laughs> flap of Jake skin? What is that, like, noticed. gigantic lumpy? Oh, it's a scrotum. <laughs> oh no! It's like, why do you fucking do this, Dean? I give you clear <laughs> rules on what you post. Well, what does it matter? Like, it's fucking—it's a separate channel. It's out of general. It doesn't matter. 
What do you mean? Well, it's it's still like fucked up weird shit that you put. You don't even post like it's funny. You don't even post like regular <laughs> pornography. You post fucked up weird shit. Cause okay? it's funny. I get like fucking. I admit. <laughs> I have to admit. It's pretty funny. That like the tiny, any any time. It's just, it's such a fucking horrible nightmare. <laughs> where it's like this little anime girl and like her penis is so <laughs> so big like we're not even talking like boa constrictor like Technical it's like a Discord. it's Join like a fucking motorcycle <laughs> cock just a, like a school bus length fucking coiled it's, up fucking it's a, it's a five a foot diameter tree trunk in, uh, penis just curled around in circles <laughs> with testicles the size of refrigerators just fucking chilling and i'm i it's it's fucking incredible anyway so that's genshin impact you got anything else? that's genshin impact it's a giant lumpy scrotum uh. and gambling uh, dean what do you think of um of uh chinese prime minister Z, uh, xi jinping <laughs> I legitimately hate the Chinese because they tried to ban VTubers. <laughs> I'm actually, I feel like I'm Hey, they're more, back! I feel like if Coco I'm ever gonna be and, genuinely... Um, shit, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was just gonna say Coco and um, Hato. Uh, they came literally back, Literally yeah. came back today. Bro, I hate they the actually Chinese, did come I back. hope Godzilla kills them just all. Just a suspension, that's what I figured. Yeah, but China well, was saying that, like, they wanted their resignation. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's I don't like fully understand. I think some people were saying that like it, you get you get fucking social credit fun bucks if you like get real mm, get real riled up about that shit. But yeah, like I actually want like the Chinese to die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this podcast was sponsored by a Red Shadow Legends. <laughs> Our lord and savior, um, fucking Winnie the Pooh man. That's gotta be the worst thing, though, of uh, YouTubers who review video games and talk about ethics in, uh, games, and then they go and turn around and say, By the way, this, this content is sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends, a game I wouldn't play in a million years, but I'm gonna shill it anyway, even though I know it's dog shit and I talk about hey. ethics anyway. Hey. Hey. Yes. They give you a lot of fucking money to sponsor that game. Hey, hey. I'm okay with any other channel that's not a gaming ethics or whatever channel, or a channel that is gaming and unironically enjoys the game. I'm fine with those. But these motherfuckers who are like, Microtransactions are horrible for this industry. You know, EA is a real bad company. By the way, buy this fucking Chinese game that's literally that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Tencent. Sponsorship. And huh? that's why you yes? will never no? see... Maybe? You will never ever see me shilling for Raid Shadow Legends or any equivalent game like that. If I hate the game, I will never talk about it positively in an ad. Fuck that. Bullshit. Raid Shadow Legends They could come up to me with $100,000 cash for one video and I would say no. Look, that is that's more than $100,000. Joseph can, can sell out and be a shill uh, so you don't have to. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Raid no, Shadow Legends? No, I'm still on the channel. No, Call I'm still me. on the channel. Doesn't, no. I'm here for you. <laughs> Hit me up. I'll shout you out. Yeah. I'll fucking you what, you got that ogre? Right? Yeah, he's he's cool. There's like a I don't know. Some other shit. Open some chests, get some loot, get some epic tier. Hey, we're about to open some fucking raid raid chests on my stream. Check it out. Oh do it do a poggers in the chat if you want a raid shadow legends code. You know what would be one of the best jobs in the universe? The fuck? <laughs> what was <Thanks>. that? <laughs> it was so do, quiet. Do, do we want to hear it again? No, I'm going to yes. cut all this Yeah, I want to hear it again. I want to hear it again, actually. Poggers. Poggers. No, what have you been playing this week? Fuck. I've been playing. 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. And my femboy is better than your femboy, Dean. Oh, shit. This is the Gotcha Game podcast. <laughs> Just no fucking. Way. No. We finally my get Dean on. Is way better. Are you kidding? There, what, no, my, fe my femboy can 
totally beat up your fanboy. Oh, no, no, no. This Bullshit. is uh, this is Vanillaware, isn't it? Oh, this is not yes. a gotcha. I'm sorry. These are the guys... I'm fucking sorry. I, I totally forgot about this game. Yeah, yes, you should be. Because it's, it's not on PC yet, isn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is only on the Sony PlayStation 4. Oh, brought motherfucking to you by our friends. Bring your shit over. Come on. Yeah, PlayStation wait, 4. Wait, wait, wait. You might get a Vita port. <laughs> Atlas and Don't Sega, hold your so breath. Who knows? But I'm, I'm not saying you're gonna get one, but you might get one. It's a definite maybe. It's always a definite top fifty Atlas. fifty on whether or not they will start reprinting Vitas just to port this game. Yeah, no. Okay, but in all seriousness, all right, this is something very important. All right, my fanboy is so much better than your fanboy team. Like you don't even understand. Like you don't even understand how good my fanboy is. I think I do understand. I think you just mad <laughs> that you didn't make the venti banner in time. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Sure. Sure. You know what? You know what? Some people, some people have have live steam, all right? Just because I can't sit there and 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 roll a million times and and even though I tried and I tried and I never rolled him. <laughs> exactly. Fuck. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Tell me about uh, uh Dean. What was it? 13 Ages. Jake. 13 Sentinels. Aegis Rim. Dean? I'm looking this up. I have not finished it yet. I have not finished it yet. But. <laughs> getting some real <laughs> strong feelings from this one. Uh -huh. uh, 13 Sentinels is sort of a visual novel, but it's okay. also sort of a strategy game. Get, good luck um, getting Dean to play any video games. He might watch good. an anime, but he will never play a video game. Like, Metal Gear Solid literally sat with him. He actually kind of liked it, and then he never played it again. Okay, if I then hear again. visual novel, anime, and yeah, like it says not, it's an and, and not an action RPG, uh, then I'm probably down. Yeah, so... What's wrong with an action um, RPG? I don't know, I just don't like it that much. <laughs> What, what, what do you but, like about it? Wait a minute, you're playing Genshin... Never mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I need... To, it's about the wife. No, no, no. I so he already I put the time he in, he might as well enjoy the you game. You played for the gambling. I understand. All right, you know, you just... No, okay, you know. but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's different. That's different, though. He already sucked in 20 hours. He might as well enjoy the game. It's an open world. <laughs> it's an open world kind of sandboxy thing, right? It's almost like an MMO. Like, oh yeah. I'm well, about, like, I mean, I'm you still like, like Dragon's Dogma, and that's like an action RPG. Okay. Thirteen Sentinels. Um, is like two main like gameplay things. The first one is a side-scrolling sort of um, visual novel sort of experience where. You normally, you have, like, your, your character on screen, and this is sort of like how other Vanillaware games are when they're outside of combat, where you just have, like, a bunch of NPCs, like, lined up in a row, and you just walk up and you press talk, right? But 13 Sentinels doesn't do that. 13 Sentinels does some, like, crazy shit, like, right out of the beginning with the way, like, the amount of thought and effort put into the quote-unquote visual novel segments to make them less visual novel-y. So... For example, there's a point where you're in a classroom and you can overhear these two girls talking in the background and it's like the subtitles are kind of faded because they're in the distance and you can like barely make them out. And if you walk closer, you can actually start listening to the conversation. And then as I was listening to it, one of them stopped and was like, excuse me, we're fucking having a conversation here. Could you like <laughs> fuck off? And um, like my character like automatically like walked away and that kind of signaled like the end of all the information I could glean from like listening to it again because then the dialogue just looped. Um, there's That's cool. like later in the game there's like time sensitive shit I feel like. I'm not 100% sure on it where like characters go through their routine and if you just let it happen like shit can kind of like pass you by. Um, there was a point where I was, like, talking to some people, and I saw, like, another important NPC just, like, walk by in the background, and I was like, oh, what? what? It, mm. Um, and it encourages, like, multiple playthroughs, like, um, of, like, individual chapter elements, because there's a bit of, like, a 
uh, as the name implies, there's 13 main characters, and you sort of jump in between them. And then outside of that, the combat element, which is something really interesting, because Vanillaware sends um, Odin Sphere. Uh, there's it was um there's one called like i fucking can't remember it's like little witch academy or some bullshit where it was like the most awkward fucking real-time strategy game ever where it was like a big side-scrolling vertical thing and you like spawned units in like a vertically side-scrolling environment it was super weird and not great and then odin sphere came out and odin sphere was fucking janky as fuck but it looked pretty and then muramasa and that one was pretty decent, but the it gets really samey really fast because the combat's pretty simple, and they ask you to just do it a lot. And they ask because, like Vanillaware is a really tiny team. Uh, yeah, they, and they make, make very really good but art. very fun games. Yeah, yeah. So they have like X amount of content, and then they multiply that by like yeah. four to get like a full length game of basically you just playing <laughs> the same shit over and over again. Dragon's Crown was really um, bad with that. Dragon's end. Crown has that issue. Dragon's Crown, like, it is, like, a little bit more fun to play because, like, there's a bit of a loot system there, and so there's kind of more incentives to go through stuff. And cute elf um, girls. And cute elf girls, twerking berserker girls, and... Their um, asses literally gigantic, expand when they jump in the air. It's, it's insane. The art that game is absurd. Gigantic titty sorcerers. Sorceresses. Oh my god, perfect. Um, you, you, no, hold on, wait a minute. No, you know Nick? Uh, you know my friend? Uh, uh, yes. Our mutual friend. Yes. Um, so he tells me about this one woman that he knows, and he says, like, oh, she's got huge cans. I'm like, well, how big? And she goes, well, you know the sorceress from Dragon's Crown? She cosplays yep. her per perfectly. All right. <laughs> Those are some big titties. Now, 13 Sentinels manages to get around all of this because... The actual combat segments involve very l efficient use of Vanillaware's assets. So during the dialogue sections where you're like side scrolling, you're playing as these like beautifully illustrated characters, because uh, that's like their main thing is that they do these essentially like hand drawn sprites that look really good and animate really well. Um, but the game is also this science fiction giant robot um, story where you fight in the 13 sentinels which are these 13 giant robots in sort of tactical semi real time battles against um an invading force and it's this sort of like the the tv does this cool like crt sort of presentation like the image curves a little bit on the sides and all the enemies are kind of represented by like um kind of voxel 3d sprite looking um, almost like Galaga enemies, like with the oh, way okay. they're they're oriented, or like Space Invaders kind of style, like very very blocky, uh, and it's sort of like a tactical view of the battlefield. But whenever you select one of the characters and you select an action, like you know fire machine gun, arm mounted machine guns, or uh, lock on missiles, it has like a pre canned animation clip of what that does. So you actually get to see their cool oh, is it like, artwork, uh, kind of like Fire Emblem thing, kind of like, kind of like yeah. Fire Emblem. Um, but they don't bother with the animation of the, like, the canned animation. Like, they don't actually stop the battle to show your character walk up, punch the enemy character, walk back, have the other character punch you, walk back, and then turn end. It's very quick. You just, you select Good. your attack, and if you want to look at the animation, it's there in the corner. But if you've already seen it, you just click the attack. You click the enemy, your thing walks over there, and it fucking punches it, and it fucking flies across the screen. Uh, and there's lots of little, like, fun nuances to the combat, but, like, they get to put all of that in there, and they get to make the combat more interesting than just, like, a sort of button mashy beat beat 'em up thing, because they use the um, fucking assets so, like, efficiently. And there's upgrades for your pilots, for your robots, for your fucking base, and... Um, there's a nice little like score attack thing going where if you keep successful missions going you get a score multiplier that unlocks more points that you can use to unlock more Dark Souls style item descriptions of like characters and things in the story 
which you can then advance through to unlock more shit. And it just, you know, goes with a great back and forth, and it's been super fucking good so far. The story is, like, fucking insane. Um, there's fucking, there's a femboy, and he's very good, and he's better than Dean's. As good as my femboy. <laughs> um, there's, like, yeah, the, all the characters are, so far have been really cool. And tons of waifus. I forgot to mention, this is like the most important thing. Obviously, <laughs> when you get in the robot, you, you, just, you can't have your clothes on. That's just a given. So no clothes in the robots. That's, that's how that is. Um, Vanilla Ware, you know, George Cammy Tammy, the director, um, known for being legendarily horny. And that is, you know, continually like true Taro for this game. Um, they should collab. Yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's some really good waifus. There's a there's a Sukaban waifu. Sukaban are like Japanese gangsters. There's Bonchos, which are boys, and Sukaban, which are girls, and she's cool. Um, what does that mean in Japanese? Please tell me. Sukaban, I don't fucking remember. It has something to do with like, I think it I think it literally just means long skirts because they wore really long skirts. Um fucking uh there's a there's a ray ayanami fucking bandage girl um that you can oh. protect her her <laughs> smile or lack thereof uh because she's deadpan and um there's an athletics girl who wears those fucking athletics short shorts which is good um <laughs> There's a sleepy girl who literally starts the fucking anime, uh, the fucking game, sorry, running with the fucking toast in her mouth like she's fucking Sailor Moon. Um, there's there's Absolute Territory. Um, that one's good. Uh, Twin Tails, uh, who is also maybe a streamer. Uh, and it it's already kind of a game of the year contender. I can't wait to play it. Except they fucking never port their games over to PC because it's fucking Atlas. It's a fucking dice roll every time. But it's Sega too. I hope Daddy Phil Sega Spencer. Sega does own Atlas now. I, I, I so. want Daddy Phil Spencer to buy them out so that Daddy can get me all the games I want on PC. Daddy, I want it now! Ooh, but sp hold on. Speaking of Atlas. Yes. SMT5. SMT5! Let's go. Let's yeah. fucking go, dude. You Yo, your fucking f stupid fanboys. Yo, boys. have you guys... Oh, yeah, holy shit. Speaking of femboys, the fucking SMT5 protagonist? Yes. That is a capital Femboy, F yes. femboy. <laughs> that is a F-E-M boy. Damn. <laughs> Joseph is completely tuned out. I thought when we got Dean on this podcast, it would be really funny. we get some nice banter. Well, we're but... on this oh, one no. topic, and... Yeah. Look, I if we can find it a way to now. bring it back to Femboys, we will. <laughs> That's hometown right there. Joseph, why anyway, not to... Uh, yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah. Have, you boys, have you boys heard the good word of our Lord Satan? <laughs> and the <laughs> overwhelming freedom that he presents you with the chaos route? Have you embraced... The great Lord Lucifer. No, in because his I don't play JRPGs because they're Y H V H. I find most JRPGs to be extremely repetitive. <laughs> Stretch to eighty hours of gameplay. Listen, play. yeah, but it's Listen, repetitive. The in encounter every way. rate isn't high. You're just a bitch. <laughs> uh -huh. SMT yes. three gang for life. That's right. We ride hard, we die That's hard. Right. We with this. We out there with You know what? I was up to maybe it. trying some of these JRPGs out, and then I got into like uh, Deus Ex, Vampire the Mice, Vast Raid, a Bloodlines Code or two. I'm all about those two mid 2000s 3D RPGs, which are fucking dead. They don't make them anymore. There's maybe like two coming out every five years. Oh god, what happened? Oh, whoops. Oh, just, just okay. Whoops. I was it's trying fine. to make sure my audio was fine. Yeah, I, I beat Deus Ex, KOTOR 2, in the last couple of years I beat fucking, almost done with vampires, fucking, I still I'm just, I'm happy with these, I don't have to I'm do so some busy. bullshit JRPG with the same fucking mechanics from the last 40 years that haven't evolved at all. People talk about Pokemon being they, stagnant. They evolved a little bit. They evolved a little bit. And I don't mean every JRPG, you know, they, there's obvious exceptions like Dragon's Dogma, which is a cool game, but I, I get- Dragon's Dogma is not a JRPG. 
I mean, it's, it's, a, it's and a Dark Souls, a Dark and it's an Souls. RPG. Yeah, but it's not a JRPG. Well, you know. Well, I mean, you guys define it as turn-based, but I, it's still oh, like yeah. it's, I mean, Japanese, it's, much, it's a Japanese-style RPG. I, mean, I guess the traditional JRPG, one is the bullshit like Dark with the, is a JRPG. the tediously long turn-based combat, the unskippable cutscenes it's and not combat tedious, sequences. It's fucking Exquisitely rewarding and fun. Long turn-based combat and the beautiful cutscenes. Excuse me, why would you ever skip them, sir? When I've oh, already, yeah. when I've died on the oh, boss. I, no, no, no. Oh, I skip them. I skip them. Have you talked to Joseph about skipping yet? No. <laughs> skipping oh, cutscenes? Oh, oh. I want to skip the cutscenes because I've already seen them because I've died on the boss and I'm just trying to fight because the boss again. you're bad. Listen, Jake. Skippable cutscenes are very hard to program, okay? And they had to focus their development efforts on more important aspects, like making sure that the main girl's titties bounce just right. No, that's true. You can't give up these sacrifices. I mean, we... Oh, fuck. Skippable cutscenes, bouncy titties. That's mm, fine. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, okay. I know which way I'm going, and it's not the gay way. But Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines has big titty waifu girlfriends, and Deus Sex has Yeah, but it doesn't have women. femboys. It does not. That's Too bad exactly. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Joseph, what a homo! What, yeah, Joseph, yeah. what have you been what a, playing what a, this week? What a what a what a, what a fucking gay! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I like good video games. I don't like playing sorry, the same shit fuck shoveled men? in my throat. God, what a homo! <laughs> exactly. Sad. All right, you so like the some game. Of them. Uh, yeah, the okay. game I've been playing. Wait, hold on. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Yeah, you're fine. What? Oh, hold yeah, on, your shit's not changing but i hear you oh you got disconnected no oh, okay there we, no it was glitchy okay there we go mm -hmm. yeah, all right that's fine so the game i've been playing is gary's mod yay Whoa. and i set up wow. my own server <laughs> <laughs> because wow. i try playing on these servers <laughs> and you get banned when following the rules of being a great player so like you know what i'm setting up my own <laughs> server and stealing this Cocksuckers players, which I'm doing right now, and I have his players in my server. He has, let's, hold on, let me see. He has ten people, I have seven, with more soon to come. And Are those all your uh, accounts? <laughs> no, 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 I don't even have any alts on. Basically, this cocksucker has a, f literally, um, a super admin that's fat. Like, one of the server owners are fat and likes cheeseburgers, and everybody bullies him. And he just came on uh -huh. and banned me one at one point for no fucking reason. When I'm trying to, like, stop a guy from cheating, I'm not gonna go into, like, the details. But anyways, uh, <laughs> the owner, the main owner is like, why don't you start your Always own server? And so I started my own server, just like he with recommended. With blackjack and hookers. Yeah, with, except, uh, he, this guy is a maniac and a drug abuser, I guess. He, he likes to um, do a lot of drugs, and he's going crazy now because I'm taking his player base. Man, you gotta be a real piece of shit to do drugs. No. <laughs> he went. He went like over 130 miles per no. hour down the highway and crashed his fucking car at one point, and then made a post on the forum blaming the community. No, did I just hear you squeal a little bit there? Yeah. Uh, no, you're I, not gonna believe I, what I just bought. Uh, Online. It's gonna, it, it's gonna make your day. Does it start with a K and end with a radum? <laughs> no, I already bought all that. Oh, I'm talking okay. about something new. Do I cut this all out? Do oh, I was it Robitussin? No, no, it, it's not. Oh. It's Damn. not illegal. I'm fine. We already just said that you bought something illegally, retard. <laughs> no, I didn't buy anything illegal. It's not illegal. It's legal. It's legal. Really? Just not, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know shit about drugs, you know. As I've never, multiple bought, times I've never bought drugs online that weren't legal. Okay. I get those from my bad. the sketchy guy, from sketchy dealers in my neighborhood. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hell yeah. Guess. Oh my god. Can you give us a clue? No. I, Is no it legal or illegal? It. No one would know it. I would. 
is, is it, it a drug? It's legal though, right? Like you bought something legal. Yeah. Or, okay. It's legal. Yeah. And, it's and it's not. Drug. Is it a, it's, okay? It's a drug. I'm not gonna be like, oh, did you buy pot? Because it's not that. And Noah, you when you realize started... what it is, you're gonna start laughing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What is what is the first letter? D. Drugs? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it did make him laugh. <laughs> No, it's DXM. DXM? Oh, DMT? No, DX. You said that... Uh, you literally fucking told me that was Dirt's second <laughs> drug of choice. Or no, no that was Robitussin. Yeah, it was Robitussin. Yeah, that's what DXM is. Oh, uh, well, then why did you say Robitussin and you said I was wrong? Why you say you little shit? Because DXM is the active ingredient. That's that's like actually oh, what yeah, you're yeah. literally pulling some bullshit on me <laughs> yeah, where, where you're like guess what I'm smoking bro and I was like weed and you're like no it's THC dude <laughs> Fuck wait you. so you're you're smoking like <laughs> cough syrup or something what yeah you if you no, chug the cough it. syrup it fucks you up yeah but see the thing like well see if you say cough syrup then like you could be getting some shit with like a bunch of other like stuff that's bad for you in it but but that's the good stuff no the good stuff it, is the dirt DXM would go full robotussin buy on brand 250 225 or whatever milligrams of it for only 15 dollars he would go down to i think that's a lethal fucking dose. cvs come back with like eight <laughs> bottles and go to town <laughs> Dude, you can that have some like legend. delirium psychosis uh, trips on that. Yes, that's. I, I'm fucking. I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be great. Dirt had his own religion. He worshipped <laughs> a strange ice cream cone shaped creature that he named Dixon. <laughs> It, uh, I the story some of these goes that, you hang that out with, like, um, when you're he went to a Catholic school, and um, he and his friends were like the the bad kids. So they thought the one thing that would like piss off their nun <laughs> teachers was them coming up with their own heretical religion. So oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> they invented their own false idol, and then he spread his religion to like most <laughs> of the people in this week. <laughs> The, the word of Dixon. Is Dirt a real person? I feel like Dirt is a hundred percent real person. I could like send you like pictures of him, and you will be like, yeah, that's that's who that is. <laughs> Dirt. I could also like if you a hundred percent need verification, I could probably even get the man himself to like DM you or he something. He should be the first guest on the podcast. I don't. I I don't think he would. Okay. He has he has, he he has a very stable life right now. Oh, okay, good. I see him just chilling. See, drugs are cool. Yeah. See, kids. Except when Dean does them, then they're Do not drugs. cool. It's like your dad doing it. <laughs> hey, son, I got some pocket mans. <laughs> Dean just showing up with his fucking skateboard and his little fucking <laughs> baseball cap. How you doing, fellow, fellow kids? kids. Want to hit some tussin? <laughs> <laughs> that uh, was that was the affectionate term just tussin so Josie have you have anything else to say about Gary's mod no this fucker is, no 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 I, I, I was I was busy typing something because this fucker is ruining my reputation and um, now <laughs> your everybody, spotless reputation yeah no no Always because, the victim. because on the server I, I've never like break any rules and now he's accusing me Bullshit. of a bunch of Bullshit! I don't. No, no, on this, on no, on this server, no, because it's not that. Joseph, spot. Joseph's very good about that. He either goes whole hog and fucking just shits well, no, everywhere, or he's very polite. No, because Joseph can be. Because if you're breaking rules totally on this server, you're basically being most of the community, and it's more fun to follow the rules of this community. But the, the super admin is dumb and doesn't understand that people are there to break the rules, and I'm there stopping the people from breaking the rules, which is I'm trolling the trolls. That's more fun than just trolling, you know, or... That's next level. Yeah, I'm, I'm trolling the trolls, and he's trying to make Using up stuff on the like forums. Using phrases like noob and trolls makes you come right out of, like, 2007, dude. 
Anyways, uh, no I'm just letting the community media. know. I'm letting the community know about the child porn he bought in return for uh, giving female oh staff. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dean, could you not? Could you stop doing what you're doing? <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's his microphone. But Fuck like, it. what is it inside? Just like, it's Femboy's it's ass. Of, it's one of those wire ones, so I'm just like playing with the, like the cord. I feel like I'm inside of a giant coconut. <laughs> Dean, stop doing what you're doing. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. That's so weird. Dean, please stop. It's been a long day, alright? <laughs> It's been a long day for me. I fucking woke up at 4 p uh, p.m. yesterday. <laughs> Wait. 4 well, p.m.? All right, I'll talk about... Listen, yesterday. I'll, I'll make you a deal. I'll talk about my game, and we'll we'll finish this up. But yeah, 4 p.m., he's on these weird schedules where he just... I know. Yeah. I'm just, like... I'm, I'm trying to comprehend, like, how it works. I, like, I, I, I basically just don't sleep that? for 30 hours. Fucking stop, oh. Dean. Jesus Christ, with the stupid mic. Let it, leave it alone. Fuck. I can't. I want to touch it. Alright, l- listen. Don't, touch it for like 10 thinking. seconds straight, fuck around with it, and then stop doing it. What the fuck? You're like a fucking child. <laughs> now deep throat it. Deep throat it. <laughs> Did you actually do it? <laughs> Alright, stop. Please. Did you deep throw it? Is it out of your system? Dean, did you deep throw it? No. What the hell are you doing now? He put it inside a water bottle and he's crinkling it. <laughs> I, I'm holding a watermelon next to it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> like I was ever close. since we were kids, I thought he was doing it just to piss me off. But it turns out to be a problem. Like he would like I would be explaining something to him, and he would just be doing like on a on a fucking board or table. Stop, Dean. Stop doing that. Oh what? What am I doing? And like sometimes he just genuinely wouldn't know. He's like oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. He never apologizes for anything. Severe autism. Just, just stop, please. Just. I'm eating gummy bears. <laughs> it's all getting cut out. <sighs> I'm eating gummy bears. What have you been playing, Jake? I've been playing a little game. Well, I've been playing Nier, which I talked about on the deleted episode, but I haven't gotten... I got farther than the junkyard. Um, I got to the sand place, but um, not much has happened. It's, it's still a cool game. I'm going to finish it. But uh, I've been mainly playing because I'm... I'm super depressed or something. Something's wrong with me. I need a very cheap thrill of a game. Just a nice McDonald's Senren double Kagura. cheeseburger. Senren Kagura, yeah. Yeah, I fucking <laughs> knew it. I didn't even know the actual answer. I just guessed that. Estival, based on how you presented it. <laughs> Estival versus... So, Senren Kagura is, is a series that is, is beloved to me. Uh, Estival versus I got... is one of the first ki- games I ever got code for that was like... Oh man, this is a big, the pu- bigger publisher, fucking marvelous, and like a really good translator, Xseed, local localizer, and they they give me a key, right? And like I wasn't expecting it, and I I turn on like, oh, it's some stupid anime game, it it looks kind of dumb, and then I start playing, and I'm like, hang on, this isn't that bad. And I play a little more, and then I just start playing more, and like yeah, the 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 tits are there, and it's like the problem was with. Uh, the, the first game I played, Estival Versus, it's like, we got 40 fucking characters, and they all have to have a story, or they all have to be involved in the plot, and it's a problem because, like, it's clearly about 10 of those characters, rather than, like, all of them, or, you know, 13, so, and it was, like, the first game, I think, that got part of the PC, or the second one, so it's, like, when you get, when you jump into this franchise... Like, and you see, like, 30 girls, like, just talking about a bunch of dumb shit. You're just like, what the fuck? Who the fuck are these characters? Like, why am I watching all this bullshit? Show us your tits. So, like, if you if you play the first two games, it's like, the uh, believe it or not, it's like, 
the storytelling in the first two games, the character development is like really, really fucking good. It's actually like, like mm -hmm. unironically good plot, <laughs> unironically. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then, like, sure. third game is like, fuck you. <laughs> it's good shit. <laughs> you were gonna buy one of them. You were gonna buy Shinobi Versus for the Vita TV, you little cuck. But you no, fucking I didn't. Wasn't. You didn't! The titties were too big. There are several girls who are flat, and that is pointed out ex ex with excruciating, uh... <laughs> the, okay, no. There's one character. Those named... characters are boing boing, and you appreciate them. <laughs> right, Dean? I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> if a g there are no such thing as flat girls, they are all boing boing, and we all love them. That's true. Yeah, I agree with that. There's yeah. this character named uh, Mirai, and uh, or Mirai, and <laughs> I can't what? Do it. Mirai, M I R I I, and uh, she's yes. she's flat, right? And uh, that's that's funny because like you know out of the, the the other nine characters from the original game they're all boing boing so like she's always like how do I get them as big as yours and like there's this other character and she's obsessed with she's very she comes from a very poor family so like she's like she, her whole family her entire life has to has to survive on like very little so um she she grows bean sprouts and that's kind of her thing because it's kind of like uh, related to traumas like well she's been poor. And even when she doesn't need to do it, she still like grows bean sprouts because they're they're a nutritional meal, uh, and uh, she just like grows them, fries them, bakes them, does whatever. She's kind of obsessed with them. So Mariah comes up, is like, it's like, Yo, me Chan, how do I make them as big as yours? And she goes, Well, you gotta give them a lot of water. And she's like, Oh, a lot of water? It's like, Yeah, I think just, I remember just soak them, soak them in the in water. It's like, oh, Okay, what else? Well, you have to have good soil. Soil? Yeah, you just have to make sure they're in soil all day. Like, wow, this- growing my breasts is gonna be really hard, and it's like, ah, no, what are you talking about? I'm talking about being, you know, classic anime. Fucking gut classic shit. Classic <laughs> anime misunderstanding. One character is- You thought she was talking about titties, but she was actually talking about vegetables. It's uh, it's funnier because the voice acting, uh, the cast is no, actually no, it's, pretty good. It's, okay. it's, it's actually, like- you know, like, they actually got some decent voice actresses. It's one of those games where, you're like, you're, this is probably never gonna get uh, made in English, because it's, like, the amount of money it would take to localize it like that would just be astronomically high uh, for the budget. But, you know, the, you it's... You need 40 it's, bitches. It's Dynasty Warriors. It's just Dynasty Warriors except in an arena. There's no objectives. Um, and titties. Yeah, it's just... It's just, it just sucks because all the 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 um the guy who made who uh, directed it he's leaving the studio they're gonna they're trying to come out with this this game that literally couldn't be released in its state because of the uh, Sony censorship issues that w that Amer the Sony of America was doing from you know, California but I I feel like I think they're changing that now but like um the yeah. artist it seemed like it was just one guy who was it like, really much I was have an it idea. really was yeah I will save the company company on fire. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, and then the uh, the lead artist is is leading. Um, I I don't know about the um the guy who does the music because the music's fucking amazing. Like basically the art, the direction for the story, and the and the music makes that game. And you have two thirds of the talent leading leaving. So it's it's really concerning like how this 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 big budget one because all the games of this point have been basically spinoffs. Um, it's supposed to be like this next you know. Gen console proper game, not the fucking game on Switch with the fucking pinball or the fucking game where you strip them. Dean was playing some of that too. <laughs> no, actually, uh, we had the whole group of people over and I'm like, hey, Dean, why don't you play Senran Kagura Reflections? And it's literally a visual novel game as light as possible. There's like very few mechanics. All you're doing is using the Joy-Cons to like pet her or fucking touch her, give her a massage. Oh yeah, that's where they use the fucking um Switch the, the like HD, HD Rumble. Rumble. <laughs> and I was like, as to soon get, as like, I saw that trailer, right I'm like, feel? need to buy it. <laughs> but then yes. I find out it's a fucking ripoff. It's ten dollars for one girl. Each girl is less than an hour. And in fact, the best girl of the game, which is Asuka, um, who's not my waifu, but you know, it's it's you know whatever. It's uh, it's bullshit. Because they pick a bunch of submissive characters, which Dean's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, oh, I'm gonna beat my women." <laughs> but yeah. no, Whoa. but no, they pick a bunch of easy submissive characters that would be perfect for like this basic bitch visual novel game. But what's worse is that Asuka, the only good one in my opinion, cucks you. The other girls are like, 
will you be my boyfriend or whatever? And it's like, oh, I was like, we'll live happily ever out together. But Asuka's like, I have things to do as a shinobi ninja warrior. And I'm like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I paid ten dollars for you, <laughs> and you're gonna me- make me. That's the finish. base game character too. Like they don't cuck you on the DLC; they cuck you on the base game character. So you're buying more uh... shit. <laughs> The other, Sorry, buddy. But they make you up for it. You only get to come if you buy the DLC. They uh, they they add in uh, the Bean Sprout girl, the uh, I believe uh, the girl who's like just a shut in, a fucking neat. And then the girl who's Dean will love uh, if her tits weren't so big because Dean's a fag. Uh, the masochist girl oh. with the blonde hair. She's just like she's. <laughs> it, it, what she's about great. the rapey one who's always molesting people? Uh oh, that... they actually have one of those. Um, I, that I know. Is, I, 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 I'm referencing one, right? an actual character. The yellow-haired one is the, the one shoes. who likes to be molested. There's another yellow-haired one. Oh, no, like, no, no, no. I know what you're like talking about. No, I'm thinking about thing. uh, Haruka. That's the BDSM sadist one. The uh, the one that sexually harasses all the r- girls is Katsuragi, who is not in the game because, again, her personality is not some generic uh, submissive type. So they would have to put effort into the fucking writing. But no. Fuck, fuck Senra and Kagura, actually. You know what? Fuck them. I, I'm so sick of these shit well, games. I'm glad that we, I'm glad that I'm we glad had this journey together, Jake. Yeah, we can all play Genshin. Yeah. I'm gonna play it after we're done with the podcast, Spend our savings. Because I can't stop. I'm like, it's the fucking abused spouse. I'm like that fucking character in the game. Fucking Ryobi. So now that you have Venti, Dean, what, Whatever what, what does the future hold for Riona. you? Okay, so. I got, I got plans. Alright. Okay. So on one of my rerolls, <clears throat> I got Kiki, Kui-Kui. which is the little Kwee-Kwee. That's right. <laughs> Mama, Kwee-Kwee. Mama. He would literally go, he would literally just, Mama, Kwee-Kwee. <laughs> And if <laughs> and that, like there would be moments where like we'd hear screaming and he'd like storm out of his room and he'd be like, "Mama's being real queequee right now, so she won't let me snuggle." Your fucking friends are so fucking weird, dude. That shit was hilarious. It's like in high school, you're always trying to prevent people from thinking out about you, and then in college, you're like, "Ah, fuck it, who cares?" Yeah. Yep. You don't no, even want to get like a whiff of, circle. like, being, like, anywhere, like, fucking... Like, people be... Like, sometimes you can get away with in high school, you just be gay ironically. And then you find out that dude was actually gay later on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's... That was... Of all the gay shit that happened in, in that suite, the only actual gay thing <laughs> was this one dude who was, like... Like, when he first, like, arrived... Everyone was like, dude, that guy's gay. And he's like, I'm I'm not gay at all. I'm just completely not gay. I, I am the least gay person here. Drops out of college, gets a sugar daddy, starts dancing in fucking um, the strip joints. <laughs> that guy, that guy is doing okay. He's, he's fucking, he's, he found his niche. And his niche is being extremely gay. Well, at least until his body gets all used up by the age of 30, and then you enter the 40s of balding. That doesn't happen with dudes, only chicks, though. Well, balding? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if he's got the right head for it. He's, he he yeah, kind he of fits he fits into the bear archetype anyway, so actually it kind of works. Nice. He's nice. not a twink. He is a twunk. Oh, so, so he, looks, he looks like me then? set. <laughs> Basically. Really? Yes. <laughs> Just a giant shud. Yes. Shud. <laughs> we prefer twunk. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that What's was yeah, that was Yo, a good time. I probably I'm not gonna drop that. Names. I call him. I call him Ood or Oof. <laughs> I think it's it's Big Bara. That's what it's called. that's what it's called in the furry Thud. community. Oh yeah, the furry community. Bara, big Bara furries. Bara is like a Japanese thing, though. Oh well. So it just it just Come came in. over from like oh, dojo wait, wait, shit. Wait, 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 hold on, we have a guest. Get out, mom! We're talking about Bara furries. Wait, who could the guest be? Our mom's not even there right now. What? No, a uh, 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 
fucking DJ Master Abdulli's mom. Oh. Must have been his sister. I don't hear him screaming. Uh. <laughs> Anyone else got anything oh, wait, else? Okay, sorry. We, we, I, we got sidetracked with your plan, Dean. You got Kiki or Kui Kui oh, okay. or whatever. All right, all right. So, no, she's on an alt. But uh -huh. as soon as I got her, I realized I want Kui Kui bad. I fucking mm -hmm. need Kui Kui. Okay? Yes. But I had to go with Venti just because it was a limited time thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm aiming for Kui Kui. All right? All right. So Kui Kui's next. I want Kui Kui, and then there's another character who, uh, who, her banner's coming up very soon. It's another lolly character. With the Is same the fucking, same with fucking... With, like, the red yeah. coat? Okay, same, I see ads for her. And my favorite part about them is their sprint animation. They literally fucking T-pose <laughs> like an airplane <laughs> as they're running around, and it's fucking amazing. <laughs> and I want that. Wait, like T-Pose, T-Pose, or like Naruto run? T -t -t no, T-Pose. T okay. Like straight out, 90 degree yeah. angle. That's like, like, so like Naruto that's run impractical. if they brought the arms like full on 90 degrees with that's their That's so impractical for running because you got the wind resistance, right? Just... No, but they're lolies. Yeah. So like it oh, actually like, I see. It, it, it generates lift. Hydrodynamic. So like, <laughs> Aerodynamic. Because they're really light, right? And they can just like take right off. <laughs> And they, and they make the little propeller sound, too. They go... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just like Corona. Yeah. Is there so a, cute. Is there anything else... Because I'm probably going to wrap it up here. Is there anything else that's not fucking Genshin Impact or bullshit anime re retardation? Dean, did you catch some new VTuber memes? All right, that's it. Uh, uh, I'll wrap it up here. No VTubers. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Joseph, do you have an outro we can do? Uh, yeah, Noah, Dean, we always we still try to do an outro every podcast. We didn't do one last time. Oh my god, I'm looking at this picture of a, a fucking seal plushie in a pillowcase. It looks so cute. <laughs> Alright, fuck this. Good night. Nice. <laughs>